Hey Tires, Darren here. Welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying the Calcasieu Pig Boat. This is a pattern that was designed by Tom Nixon, a well-known Cajun warm water angler. This pattern is based on the Hawaiian wiggler lure and it was named after the Calcasieu River, which were Tom Nixon's home waters back in Louisiana, and as well as the nickname given to World War II subs. Now the subs were known for being stealthy and deadly, and hence the name seemed appropriate for this lure. So this was based off the Hawaiian Wiggler, which also had quite a few uh, rubber legs at the time. Today we're going to be using silicone, which I find to be much more durable. They still give you quite a bit of action and should land you quite a few uh, bass in the process. The original was an all-black version, but quite a few different versions have spawned since then, including this one that we're going to be tying today, which is actually a showboat with the rubber legs at the back. He also had different versions with uh, nothing at the back. The original had nothing. Um, there was also something called the Serpent, which had a uh, saddle hackles in place of the rubber hackle. So let's get... A look at the material list and get started. All right, let's get a fresh hook in the vise. Today I'm using a Talon diver. Heavy wire number two, and the code on this is TA-DV314, and this is a size two. The M just stands for a medium box of 100 hooks. Uh, I don't believe these are made anymore, so you can substitute that with any other standard diver hook, like a Damagatsu F314, or just one of the must add signature stinger hooks. They're pretty good as well. All right, so first off, we're just going to add a little bit of lead wire. We don't need too much. I'm just gonna add this near the back and just a few wraps. And it's just to help give the fly a little bit extra weight. And we want to make sure we just kind of keep this front area clean here. I'm using a black 210 denier flat wax nylon. And we'll just start by putting down a base layer of thread here. And we'll Add a couple wraps over top of that lead wire. And we'll go back over that just to kind of help secure that in place. Alright, so occasionally there was a little bit of pork rind used as uh, an enhancement on these lures. Um, I don't have any pork rind but I've got some white rubber legs here. These are actually silicone legs. That'll kind of work as a stand-in for the pork rind. Now there's a bunch of different variations of this and sometimes it's uh, rubber legs, uh, other times it there's nothing there or rabbit strip or even some hackle fibers. So the one thing I like about these tabs is it's easy to handle and uh, especially for this back section it makes it really easy. Now I don't need a full length and before I get any further just let me show you what I did. So I've just taken a full 
tab and uh, what I do is I just grab both of the ends and just make sure that they're matched. And then I come in and cut all the loops out with my scissors. And that gives you two nice halves. So we're just going to use one half. And these are 21 strands on each. So uh, all together we'll have 42 strands of rubber or legs, silicone. So what I like to do is I just like to wrap that around the hook shank and I'll just use a couple loose wraps. Don't worry if this rolls on you, that's totally fine. And then once I have it in position, then I'm just going to pull that down, give it a little bit more pressure on the thread and then the uh, legs will roll into position and then you're good to go. So then we can come in here cut out all this extra stuff now that we've got it locked in place and then we'll just lock all those extra pieces out of the way clean that up a little bit Next we're going to take a hackle. I've got a grizzly olive hackle here and I'm going to take this I'm just going to pull the fibers back from the tip and I'm going to tie that on with the curve against the hook so the dull side against the hook shank And part of the reason for tying it in tip first is you get the taper that goes towards the front so it'll be a thicker taper near the front and the thinner hackles are near the back. Just trim that out, that tip. Alright, next we're going to take a piece of olive crystal chenille. And what I like to do is I just like to Take a few of these fibers off of the core and then we'll tie the crystal chenille in by that core just to make sure that it doesn't slip very easily. And we're going to take our thread up just to the point where the lead ended and we're going to have a fairly big head on this fly so just keep that in mind. We want to keep everything kind of behind this point here. And as I like to do, I just palmer the crystal chenille. If you don't have crystal chenille, Estaz works fairly well. Or another similar product should be fine. So you can kind of see how this is going to help build a bit of a shoulder on top of this fly pattern here. So we got that covering the lead now. Just add a few wraps. I'm just going to trim that. And I'm going to pull everything back and just clean up that tie down spot here. Make sure it's secure. So next I'm going to take the hackle. I'm just going to take my scissors and gently run them up the top of the stem here and that just helps fold these hackles back so then I'm going to grab both sides of the hackle at the same time and we're just going to palmer that up give it four or five wraps probably and you can just wiggle it a little bit just to make sure it gets in between the uh, crystal chenille there. And we'll catch that at the front. Fold the stem back and we'll tie that over just to make sure it's really secure. The thread slipped there a little bit, but no worries. 
All right, now comes the fun part. So, I tie in usually a full uh, tab. One thing that you can do is just to split that tab in half. So if you fold it, fold it over and cut it. Makes it a little bit easier to tie in for the front section here. So what I like to do here is just lay it on top and kind of spread it over just so that it surrounds the hook more or less. You can tie that stuff in the front down or cut it out of the way if you want. And so then for the second half I just flip the hook over and we're going to do the same thing just on the bottom. You want to, when you start it, you want to make sure that you've got a little bit of room between there and your eye because these can tend to slide down a little bit. There we go. So once you got that, the hard part's done. You see it got a ton of action on this fly. So now we're just going to start wrapping here just to clean that up and Put a bit of a taper into the head. So again, using the 210 denier thread really helps build that up a little bit quicker as well. So that's not too bad. I might want to go a little bit larger on that, but that's going to work for my purposes here. So one more step, if you've got uh, some reflective eyes, you can go ahead and put those on and add a top coat. Uh, I don't have any of those today, so what I'm going to use, I'm just going to use a little bit of paint, and then I'm going to add a top coat on that. So I got my little eye applicator tool, just a cut in half toothpick. And we're just gonna dab a little bit of paint there. Just give yourself a little eye, you don't have to go too crazy. And then we're gonna let that dry. So in the meantime, we'll let that dry. I've got a another one that I've prepared ahead of time. Let's throw that one in the vise. And we're just going to come in and we're going to add a black dot onto the eye and so for the black I just use the small end of the toothpick there just want to make sure you center that if you want a little bit bigger eye that's fine so we'll let that dry and we'll put a coat of head cement but there you go, here's the pig boat. Hey fly tires, thanks for stopping by and watching my fly tying videos. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell icon to get notified on the latest fly patterns, tips, and reviews. If you've enjoyed the video, hit that like button and post a comment below. If you'd like to support the content on the channel and get rewarded, you can visit my Patreon page. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.